Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Steve Vincent, the founder of the Angel Investment Network. Steve, great to see you again. Hey, thank you. Thanks for coming in. All right, so in case anyone's unaware, what is the Angel Investment Network? Uh, so the Southern Oregon Angel Investment Network is a group of high net worth individuals across the region who are willing to pool their money together and make it available as an investment in startup companies, entrepreneurs, uh, individuals who have a great idea that they're ready to take off and they're trying to raise money to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll just say really quick that when, when you imagine the availability of money, there's credit cards, second mortgages, friends and family, mm -hmm. and then there's banks, there's venture capital. Well, the angel investors in Southern Oregon kind of fit in this sweet spot of 100000 to maybe $200,000 in money for companies that have a great growth curve that are scalable, they're emerging growth companies that'll expand rapidly. And those investors want to invest their money in a local company that, that mm -hmm. kind of fits that criteria. Okay, okay. Now, coming, we're coming out of the recession, and, yep. and, and a lot of people think that money may be hard to find or something like that, but, but that doesn't seem to be so. How did that happen? Well, yeah, um, right, the recession with the banks and, sure. and lower uh, lending capability, uh, and even friends and family on that end not mm -hmm. able to help entrepreneurs long. Uh, it, it has been a struggle in the angel investment space across the country as well. What's great for investors is that a lot of co times companies are more willing to negotiate equity oh. Uh, position to to an investor because they don't have any other means of raising money oh. to, to be able to launch there, their company. There are ways. Yeah, yeah. so, so it has helped. We still had uh, a very strong participation from high net worth individuals in the region in this and so I haven't seen that decline. Mm -hmm. I've only seen it grow. Mm -hmm. Now when we're talking about investment networks and stuff, you want to be clear, we're not talking about high tech only type things, right? You, you have right. some interesting examples. Yeah, so two, two years in a row, we've had about 30 companies submit business plans each year, and they're all over the board. Uh, yes, there are high-tech companies. In the last two years, two companies that are in the software space won mm -hmm. just because they looked like they had the best rate of return or the best growth projections. Mm -hmm. But around Oregon, in Portland, the Angel Network there, their first investment was an organic dog food company. In Bend recently, it was a horse tech company. Huh. So it's not always high tech and software. It can be any company with at least a very scalable mm -hmm. uh, business plan that has a growth potential. And inside the Southern Oregon Angel Network, we, we've seen all kinds of companies from, from food to uh, to the, the high-tech side, yeah. uh, some software, some web yeah. development. So it's really been fun to see. That's amazing. All right, we're yeah. going to take a quick okay. break. We'll have much more with Steve in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Steve Vincent, the founder of the Southern Oregon Angel Investment Network. So, Steve, we're talking about you guys do your competition in April, correct? Yeah, that's right. So yeah. we've just launched the third round. So what that means is that investors are beginning to pool their funds together. It, it really isn't a, a high test. It's $5,000 a unit mm. for individual accredited investors. So they're pooling $200,000 together this year. Uh, well, into next year, I mean. And so April... 11th is our conference, but what leads up to that is right now we're receiving business plans up to January 31, mm -hmm. and for a company to submit it, they really need to go into the So Ready website, okay. uh, which will drill them into a platform to submit a business plan. And then the investors will sit down in February and March to begin to go through the business plans and choose some of the top companies to come mm -hmm. to the conference and present their, yeah. their investment idea uh -huh. to, uh, to the audience and to investors. Now, what advice do you have for anyone who's sitting there at home thinking, like, I've got a great idea. You know, how, how do they go about getting it in front of your eyes? Well, right, they're gonna come, uh, an entrepreneur is going to want to come through so ready to mm -hmm. submit the plan. But what's really important about that business plan is uh, really it's the executive summary. If you imagine you're an investor sitting there looking through 30 or 40 business plans, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to do a pretty quick sort. Sure. And the ones that you're interested in, you're going to put in a pile for sort of a deeper read. And so that executive summary, being able to explain what it is you're proposing to do, who's your market, what's the problem in mm -hmm. the market that needs solved, is just so critical. And we've seen other applicants not be able to even explain the idea inside two paragraphs, and that's a challenge. Yeah. Then the next part is a deeper business plan, financials, 
you know, what's the problem? All the nitty gritty, all, but you need all a good those summary. pieces, right? Because you you want to capture the attention of an investor who's going to say to the, his other buddies around the table, yeah. "Hey, we really need to look at this one. This yeah. is really cool." Yeah. And again, it could be dog food, horse tack, software, yeah. web. It could be any one of those. But you got to capture the attention mm -hmm. of the investors mm -hmm. with a good executive summary. Is the the first point? Okay. Now I know you mentioned so ready. Uh, are yep. you guys? Do you guys have a website set up yourself? Yeah, we, we've always had a website called Southern Oregon Angel Investors.com. Okay. Uh, but So Ready has come alongside this to not only help the angel investors with the admin, but also to help a lot of the entrepreneurs okay. and the applicants who may not be chosen for an investment or a further round of due diligence. They're coming alongside and providing a lot of these applicants with some kind of help so that then the next year they're investor ready and okay. they can they can come back in front of the investors. Very nice, Steve. Great to see you. Thanks hey, for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.